Hi guys, in this video, I will be showing you how to dual boot newly updated Linux Mint 21.3 with Windows on your PC. This method will work for Windows 10 and Windows 11 both. If you are not familiar, Linux Mint is an awesome, reliable and secure alternative to Windows. Plus, it's free and perfect for being there. So if you have been curious about trying it out alongside Windows setup, you are in the right place. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to run both Windows and Linux Mint on your computer allowing you to choose which operating system you want to use. Just to make sure your system has at least 2GB of RAM and 20GB of hard disk space or SSD space. Stick around till the end because we will also guide you how to completely remove Linux Mint from your system if you ever decide to go back to Windows only setup. So grab some popcorn and let's get started. Before we dive in into dual boot setup, let's take a quick peek at my system. As you can see, I have a Windows 11 Home Edition and I'm running on i7 9 Gen processor and solid 8GB of RAM. Now, if your specs are a bit lower, don't worry, you can still join the fun. Let's move on to the first step, creating a partition. So, let me open our disk management tool. So, as you can see, I have one uh, big SSD. And as you can see, C is the drive where Windows installed, taking up 292GB. And lucky for us, there is a sweet spot of 600 GB unallocated space. That's where the Linux Mint finds its new home. Now, if you don't have any unallocated space on your drive, no worries. You can make a room by shrinking an existing partition or delete one that no longer needed. Simply right-click on the partition you want to adjust and choose shrink or delete option. As you can see, we have one disk which is nothing but our pen drive. And we are gonna make it bootable with Linux Mint. Now, let's grab the Linux Mint ISO file. So head over to this URL in the description. As you can see, we have the Linux Mint Virginia 21.3 Cinema Edition waiting for us. Simply click on the link to initiate the download. Next up, Rufus. So open the Rufus website from the link in the description and download it in your system. Rufus is your go-to tool for making bootable pen drive. With Linux Mint and Rufus in hand, we are good to go. It's time to make our pen drive portable. So let me open row first. First, you need to uh, connect your pen drive. Uh, once you connected it, you can uh, choose from here. Now, let's select ISO file. So go to desktop and here we have click on open. Now, uh, do not change uh, anything here. Just click on start button. Watch row first work its magic and be patient. The process might take around eight to nine minutes depending on your pen drive and system speed. So I'm going to fast forward it. Alright, our pen drive is now become bootable. Let's take a quick look at the uh, mint file in our file manager. So let me close it. So these are the files which are required in the Linux Mint installation. Alright, it's time to boot our system into the BIOS. So here, uh, what you do, first shut down your computer. So let me shut down it. Once it's turned off, turn it back on and start pressing F2. Now keep in mind for some laptop, uh, the key might be different. Here is a reference of major laptop brands. Now we have successfully booted into BIOS. Now pay attention. Here is the crucial step. We need to disable secure boot first. This is important for a smooth Linux Mint installation process. Now let's set the boot device priority to the USB stick. As you can see we have our SanDisk, which is our bootable pen drive. Let's move it to the top by pressing F5. After that, hit F10 to save the changes. Your system will automatically boot into Linux Mint from the USB. So wait for it. So as you can see, a menu of Linux Mint installation. Click on Start Linux Mint option and hit Enter. Now uh, it might take a bit of time to boot up. So I am going to fast forward it. So our system is now boots up into the Linux Mint. Let's start the installation process. So click on install Linux Mint to launch the installation. Installation is started. The first task is to select the installation language. So select your preferred language and click on continue. Next, select your preferred keyboard and click on continue. Now here is the important choice. 
choose to install multimedia codecs. These provide added functionality, allowing you to play a wide range of video formats and enhancing website rendering. Now this is the important part of installation. We have three options, install Linux Mint alongside Windows, Erase and install Linux Mint and something else. Here we will go with the something else option, as it provides more control over the partition. So let me select it and click on continue. Now here, uh, here we have to locate of our free space. Here we have our free space. Now we are going to create two partition. One is swap partition and another is root partition. Let's create swap partition first. So click on the free space and click on add. Generally the size of swap partition will be same as your RAM size. If you have 8GB of RAM then create 8GB of swap space. Uh, if you have 4 then go for 4GB. But why do we need swap? Think of swap like a superhero for your computer. When your RAM is full, swap is taps in and keeping things running smoothly. So swap partition is created. Next partition uh, will be the root partition. So uh, select the free space and click on add. Now I am going to allocate all the left over space to the root partition and make sure uh, mount point is root. So both the partitions are now created. Click on install now. Now we have list of disk changes and ask for confirmation. Press continue to write the changes to the disk. Here you need to select your location which will be also set your system date and time. Uh, let me quick enter name and password for the uh, uh, Linux Mint system. Now the installer will start installing the file. Please pay patience until the uh, installer completes its job. This part might take uh, 10 to 12 minutes, so I am going to fast forward the installation process. Congratulations, Linux Mint 21.3 has been installed successfully on our system. Now it's time to reboot the system. So let me click on restart now and our system will automatically boot into Linux Mint. So wait for it. Fantastic, our system is successfully booted into a freshly installed Linux Mint. Let me quickly complete the onboarding process. Now let me quickly open a uh, setting and show you uh, the version of this uh, Linux Mint. Let me open uh, settings. Here we have system info. And as you can see uh, operating system is Linux Mint 21.3 Virginia. And cinnamon version is 6.0.4. So it by this way you can install Linux Mint into your system. If you have decided to bid farewell to Linux Mint and restore Windows only setup, don't worry I got you covered. Let's gracefully exit Linux Mint and bring back to Windows. So you can do this uh, by selecting Windows from grub menu or from the boot menu. Let me quickly boot into the Windows from the boot menu. Alright, we are back in our Windows environment. Uh, first open the disk management tool. You can uh, do this by pressing Windows plus X button and select disk management. Here uh, you will see the partition for the root and swap which we created earlier. Uh, it's time to delete uh, these two partitions to remove the Linux Mint from your system. So let me delete each one by one. So uh, both the partitions are not deleted and uh, Linux Mint is also removed from our system. But that boot entry for Ubuntu is still there. So it's time to kick it off. So open this part and run this as administrator. Here uh, type less disk. Here we have only one disk and you need to select this disk uh, by select disk 0 and now uh, type list volume. And here you need to locate uh, for the system uh, partition, in my case it's volume 1. 
so i'm going to select volume one now it's time to assign any letter to this drive i'm gonna assign letter x here we have now uh, letter is assigned uh, you can close this and guys you need to download uh, one software which is explorer plus plus we can do this uh, without uh, this explorer plus plus but uh, if you're a beginner then i would recommend to use this so once you uh, install it run this as administrator and here uh, locate for the drive in my case it's x and open efi folder and you will notice uh, uh, ubuntu we need to remove ubuntu folder uh, for the successfully uh, removal of Linux Mint. Now we have uh, successfully bid farewell to Linux Mint. Now uh, let's do a quick check to make sure it is out from our system or not. I will boot my system into the boot menu and check if the boot entries is still exist or not. Voila! As you can see, we have got only one boot entry, which is Windows. The Ubuntu boot entry is nowhere to found. So by this way, you can remove Linux Mint from your system. So there you have it, our mission to dual boot Linux Mint with Windows 11 and then gracefully remove it is successfully accomplished. If you decided to dive into the Linux Mint and experience its uh, big update, enjoy the journey. I would love to hear about your experience, thought or any question you might have. Feel free to share them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tech journey. Enjoy and explore Linux Mint 21.3. This is Jarvis signing off.